Hey guys, in this video we're going to make it so that we can delete a subscriber. Up to this point we can view them, we can view their page, we can edit them, um, we can add them, so basically everything but delete. So we're going to be doing that. Now we don't have to create another route or anything like that for delete. What we're going to do is we need to make an HTTP delete request, okay, because we're using a RESTful interface. Uh, so we're going to do that using jQuery and Ajax. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a JavaScript file. And I'm going to put this in public JavaScripts. Okay, and I'm just going to create a new text file and I'm going to call it main.js. Okay, so we'll open that up. And we also need to make sure that we include it in the layout. Or in the, the you know the main head, so that is in views layout dot jade. All right, and what we're going to do is we need to include jQuery as well. So let's go ahead and add a script. All right, and in here we need the src tag um, attribute, and I'm going to include jQuery using the CDN. So it's going to be uh, ajax.googleapis.com uh, slash ajax slash libs slash jquery um, 1.11.2 slash jquery.min.js. That should do it. And then we're going to include our script. Okay, so this is going to be inside of JavaScripts slash main.js. Okay, so we'll save that. And just to test to make sure jQuery is running, let's just do a um, document dot ready. And we'll do function. And let's just do an alert. Okay. Okay, we'll restart the server. And we got the alert. Okay, so that should be all set. Now we have, whoops, if we go to our subscriber page, we have a delete link. And if we look at this, you can see that it has an attribute called data ID. And that is actually sent to the, the subscriber's ID. Okay, so we need to access that through jQuery, and then we need to make a delete request. All right, when we click this link. Okay, so we'll go to main.js. And we're going to create a click handler right here. Okay, so um, let's see. We gave the link. I think it has a, an, uh, a class or an ID. Yeah, it has a class of delete subscriber. So we'll grab it like that. Um, delete. Delete subscriber. Um, what we need quotes around this. Okay, and we're going to say dot on click. Then we want to call a function called oops, delete subscriber. What? what keeps going on here? Delete subscriber. All right, and then down here we'll create the function. Delete. Subscriber. Okay, this should actually be a, a capital S. Okay, first thing, um, when they click the link, we don't want them to actually follow the link. So we're going to say event dot prevent default. So that'll prevent the default action when the link is clicked. Okay, we also want to um, have a confirmation that they actually want to delete the subscriber. 
So confirmation is going to be equal to confirm. And we'll just say, are you sure? Okay, and then we're going to say if. If confirmation, then we're going to go ahead and make an Ajax call. Okay, so we'll say Ajax. And in here we want the type. Okay, very important. This has to be delete. All right, and then we need the URL. Okay, so the URL is going to be slash subscriber slash subscriber and then we want slash and then the user ID so we can get that um, let's just concatenate um, whoops we need that here okay so get that from the delete user link or delete subscriber dot data ID okay remember that data ID right here data ID this attribute it has the actual ID in it so that's how we can get it from there and put it in the URL here all right uh, actually we don't want that and let's see right here we're gonna say dot done all right and in here we're gonna write a, we're just gonna put a function Okay, and that'll take a response. And what we're going to do is just redirect to the um, subscribers page. So we'll do a window dot replace. Uh, I'm sorry, location dot replace. And this will be actually it'll, it'll just go to the index page. All right, and then down here, if they don't confirm that they want to delete, we're just going to simply return false. Okay, so that should do it. We'll save that. So this right here will it'll make the delete request, but we haven't added the code to actually take it and process it. So we need to do that. So in our routes uh, subscriber.js that's who we're going to handle this so we need to go below this code go right here and we're going to create our delete query so this will be delete subscriber and we'll set that to delete from Can't spell. Oh, excuse me. Delete from people, subscribers, where where ID is equal to question mark. Okay, and then we need to write a delete here. A delete uh, function. So router dot delete. I believe if you're using Express 3, um, it's just Dell. It's router. Dot, it'll be a resource. Dot Dell. Um, I'm not sure, but in Express 4 delete is fine to use. All right. So uh, let's see. What are we doing here? We need to have the ID. All right, and then actually this needs to be in quotes. Then we'll have our function. Okay, and the function will be have a request and response. And we'll do the execution. So client dot execute. Okay. See, it's very repetitive. We're doing the same thing with every query. So we're going to execute um, delete subscriber. Okay, and then our parameters. Uh, we want the ID, which will be coming from the URL. 
So req dot params dot id and then our function which will have an error and a result. Okay. <coughs> and we're going to say if there is an error. Okay, if there's an error then status will be 404 and we want to send the um, message Okay, else. Okay, if it does delete, then uh, we're, we're actually not going to handle it here. We, we went, we handled it in our main JS. We're going to redirect. Okay, so basically, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to console log. Actually, no, I'm not. We'll just respond with the result. So we'll say uh, res.json and then pass in here result. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually let's restart the server. Okay, and reload. Click on, let's see, user2 at live.com, which is Mike Smith. Okay, we'll go ahead and delete. It's going to ask us for a confirmation. Click OK. And now it redirects us, and you can see that he's now gone. All right, so we've done basic CRUD, create, read, update, and delete uh, with our Node application. Now, lastly, um, I know this looks, as far as design, looks absolutely horrible. I mean, there's not too much we can do because there's really, there's not much content at all. Um, but we can add a little basic CSS. So uh, let's go to, if we open up our layout, layout.jade, we can at least add like a, a container and a header. So um, let's see, above this block content, this is where our main content comes out. So above that, let's create a container. So this dot container is basically going to create a div with the class of container. And then below that, we'll put a header, okay, the HTML5 header tag, and then an h1. And this is called my subscribers and then the block content let's get out of the header and do give this a class of main and then just indent this block content okay we'll save that and then we'll open up the CSS file which is in public style sheets style.css and we'll add a few things here. Uh, one, the container. We'll set that to a width. So let's say um, say 800 pixels. And margin, I want it in the center, so margin auto. And overflow should be auto. And then we'll give it a border of light gray solid one pixel okay and then the header let's give that a background we'll do a background of we'll just do um, light gray I guess okay uh, padding 20 pixels and then the main area I just want to add some padding so main padding 20 pixels and then let's make those forms look a little better alright so inputs we'll give them all a margin bottom of 10 pixels and then for the text field, so input type equals text and also password fields. And actually, we don't have any password fields. Okay, we'll do a height of I don't know, 23 pixels. We'll do a width of 220 pixels. 
and we'll add a border of a light gray color solid uh, one pixel and let's say border radius five pixels and also a little bit of padding and we'll save that go ahead and reload uh, let's see what well, this is Do I have the container correct? All right, so the container is, is only going around the header, so something's wrong with that. Something's wrong with our indentation. So we have the body, container, header. All right, so this should be in one. That should be in one. There we go. All right, so not the prettiest thing in the world, but a little better. Um, yeah, click on a user. We have the details. We can edit. The form looks a lot better now. All right. So another thing maybe I would add is some back buttons. You know, if you're seeing the details, it's it'd be convenient to have a link to say go back. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, so let's see. We want inside of the views. We want our subscriber. And let's see where do I want to put it. Um, let's see, we'll put it right above, uh, right below the header here, the heading. So a. And you'll, if you hate Jade, you'll you'll get used to it. If you just started using it and you feel like you want to throw your computer out the window, um, it does get easier. So let's say this wants to go. We want to go to just. Uh, the home page, I think, yeah. We'll say go back. I think that'll work. Yeah, all right. So add subscriber. We should put a link to, I guess, go back as well. So add subscriber.jade. back huh didn't give me a line break actually let's put this at the bottom So I should be able to do a simple line break. We'll do two of them. There we go. All right. Go back. All right. So that concludes this series. Um, I know this isn't a fantastic application, but hopefully it gives you a start. Um, just knowing how to do basic create, read, update, and delete is um, essential to any application, really. So hopefully you took something from this series and hopefully you'll tune in for the next one. Thanks for watching.